to hustle, there ain't no time for sleep. Just keep on moving, do what you're doing. You always play for keeps. Ain't backing down, no, we're going big. Ain't stopping now, we get after it. Get after it. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah, he is. It's almost to the brush pocket. Yeah. Hopefully he just goes in there. He? He's, he's big. Four point? Yeah, yeah. he's big, stud heavy, four. Heavy so we can get right. where? Over he's to that right ridge, by that ridge and yeah, walk man. up the back side. Yeah. He's, he's gonna go up and over that ridge. Yeah. Or get in that shit. Yeah, that's a dandy buck. Is he in the brush? No, he's right there in the bottom. Oh, yeah. We better get our asses over there, then. I think we need to leave someone spotting. Yeah. I can drive you guys up and then come back. He needs to be. Where are you going now? Is he he's headed down, up the hill he's now? He's down in the bottom still. He's right in the food. That is a freaking smoker. Yeah, he's, that's he's the first buck I've seen here that made me go. Yeah. yeah. I was looking at him and I saw like, binoculars, antlers. What like, is he going to do, though? It doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter. You guys need to get, get on over there on that ridge. Yeah, yeah I'd, get over there. We can I'd get it going. He's out yeah, of fence. Right. Jason come around and drop us off. He's right up in the basin. He's right ahead of us. There's a little thin up here. But some hunters down below us. Hopefully they don't come in and mess up. We're gonna stay on top of this hill, get them relocated, and hopefully it's within range. joined up with a group of does. They're up this little basin right ahead of us. They just went over a little knife ridge down at the basin. Now they're out of sight, we're gonna head straight up the basin at them. Hopefully pop over on top of them before they get on the other hillside and we're within range. We got a buck over here in the trees. We're trying to shoot. We're coming out of the trees, Brent. Right 
probably come up in that opening in the clearing next between the two quakies over there. There's some more deer in there. They're not with him. He's gonna come out of the top of those quakies, B. Oh, I got a shot right there. Oh, do you? I'm on him. Got him. I think I got him. I see. I didn't see him run out of there. Yeah, he's down right there, Brown. <laughs> Can you believe that? That's awesome. That was quick. Yeah, it's cold. We're laying here in the snow. God, we spotted this buck up here. We think it's the Juan Denver buck that we've that we saw in here, and then caught up on this hillside so we thought we'd sneak around and man came up here and all of a sudden we bought this buck down there and it looked like him so laid down and ranged him and how far seven seven oh, i'll have to look it was 760 something yeah i held it and he shot him something. through that second see the second group of quakies in the middle over there across the hill he's weaving through those and found a window and put it on him dude it was awesome <laughs> <laughs> One Denver don't know shit. that up right now dude I'm gonna stay right here got him Hit him in the back. Yeah. It's down. I don't know who shot him. We just smacked his body. Some guys were shooting behind us. And, uh, John looked off the bed and we should have came right over here. Had a perfect shot. But they busted down and now we're here. Scoot it up on my butt. Had a shot about 430 yards. And this is the first shot. It looked like I think I hit a little low. Second shot, put him down. I couldn't tell. We're in a hustle over there. And uh, get some eyes on him. Freaking stoked. Yeah. 
I don't know, it just worked out perfect. You couldn't ask. It was awesome, dude. With this many people and stuff, it's just sweet. It's good. So, it's, and it's a solid buck. It's a Yeah, it's not going to win any monster buck contest, but... Hey, it's a good buck, dude. Solid happy, buck. Happy, happy, happy. Tags filled. For the first time coming to an area, never even been here. Yeah, exactly. It it's Colorado, all. 2018, third Buddy. season. Okay. That's an awesome buck. Oh, that is sweet. Oh my god. Oh. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. Here he is. 2018 Colorado here with Brandon White. We've got the switchback guys that are here that are hunting. We've been hunting, trying to learn this area for, God, for two days now. Um, and God, it's been a crapshoot because there's just so many people, but, but we lucked out and we're in the right spot at the right time and was able to get this buck on the ground, so. Right now, I could not be happier. Just <laughs> tickled pink, you know? So, but, yep, just a solid, solid buck. Solid buck. Heavy. Yep. Heavy. By far the best buck we've seen as far as yep. mass and. Mass and overall tine yeah, length, probably. Tine length and, and, yep, yep. So, just <laughs> super stoked. So now, the work begins, we gotta cut them up and pack them out of here. So we're kind of down in this little basin and so we'll get them all cut up. The nice thing is we got all day to do it. <laughs> so, yeah buddy. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's snowing like a son of a gun. Good buck. I'm wobbling the camera all over the place. You got that extra battery? Okay. I'm still recording because. Me falling down is gonna be cool. Uh, I haven't went and looked at him yet. Sweet. But dude, hey, keep track of your clothes. Thank you. I need that glove probably. Dude, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, you can, he stumbled through the well, shot. Well, Jim said. I hit him right up here and he just rolled down. Jim said he, he slid it. all the way down. Yeah. So. And like the blood's already covered up, it's snowing so hard. Oh yeah, he's a good buck. He got kicker. Holy crap. Dude. Holy. Oh my god. Dude, he's got trash. Are you kidding me? You guys have no idea how much this buck means to me. It is just amazing. It's such a stud buck. We came to Colorado with pretty high expectations, but we didn't know a whole lot. The last two days, we've just been trying to figure out the whole unit. And uh, we spotted some bucks up here yesterday afternoon. So we came back in here this morning. I spotted this guy cutting across the hillside. And then he worked his way up this drop behind us. So uh, Toby and I came across, went all the way up. We had hunters coming from below, coming from the side. I mean, just crazy how many hunters are up here. And we just worked a little harder. We were higher up the hill. And uh, man, what a stud. When I first had the idea of the Icon Tour, I was hoping to shoot some big bucks, but this thing right here is like, man, he's gonna be, he's, be, he's gonna be going on my wall. 
Can't thank Toby enough. Technically, we had talked. He was going to be first shooter. Then we talked about whoever spots it, and then I spotted it, and I got a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Overzealous. Overzealous and excited and uh, selfish, I guess you could say. No, we, we wanted to get an animal on the ground, you know, for you guys to watch. And uh, that first shot, we watched it back. I hit low. He was cording away pretty hard. Hit him back, and it looks like it must have came all the way through him. He just came right down here and uh, was piled up in the bushes. Yeah, I don't think he was he 20 yards up the hill right here. Slid, slid right down. So what an amazing buck. My best buck to date by far. I've always wanted a buck with some stickers and stuff. Man, he's got it. Just a freaking absolute giant. And uh, we're going to get him taken care of. We've got some more tags to fill. See, I can't thank Toby enough. Thanks for coming videoing. It's been a good trip. we still got two and a half more days. So hopefully we'll get some more of these on the ground. But man, thanks for watching the Icon Tour. We've still got a lot of days left of video and mule deer getting shot. So stay tuned. And uh, we're going to get this thing packed up. Well, we've got this bad boy loaded up. We took our time, caped him out, and uh, quartered him out and took all the meat. Got him loaded up in the Kafaru's. And we've got... It's probably a mile, mile and a half, but it's all down here. We've had all the uphill coming up, so I'm going to get this thing loaded up real quick. Hopefully, I'm going to get it loaded up. Hip! Hip! Hip, hip! Oh, yeah. Awesome. Name it. What do you what do you guys want to name it? Uh, Colorado. Colorado? <laughs> That's a good name. That's true. Big Colorado. Alright. Big Colorado. Jim, what happened? Oh, you shoot the, yeah, you shoot oh, the man. chump city here. <laughs> Had one at a uh, whopping 300 yards or 370. Three doesn't seven. make a difference, but and uh, missed him. So <laughs> probably a blessing, you know. Bigger buck to come. That's right. I like the attitude. <laughs> I love the attitude. We're, we're way here. Me? 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 It's the end of day three. It's been a good day. I shot that stud buck. My best buck to date. Brandon shot a really nice, uh, heavy four point. And uh, Jim over there missed a buck on purpose, we're pretty sure, because he wants to shoot a bigger one. <laughs> but now it's an awesome day. A lot of deer, a lot of people, but we were able to get a couple on the ground. And uh, snow, it's not snowing, so that's one positive thing for the day. And it's not supposed to blow like it was last night. So. We're going to sign off for the night. Go get a couple more bucks on the ground tomorrow. What do you think? Can't wait. Do it. Do it. As you guys can tell, day three got pretty exciting down there in Colorado. I was able to take my best buck to date. And then Brandon Walk from Avon Hunting, he shot that stud four point. And then come to find out, we shot both those bucks about the same time during the day. So an incredible day down there in Colorado. We learned a lot. We found some new areas where we, could, where we were able to get away from a few people. There were still people around in both areas, but we got away from some of the people. And I got two great bucks on the ground. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, I missed that first shot like you guys saw. I was sitting on my butt, didn't have the greatest rest. It's 430 yards and shot low. And then he luckily gave me another shot and was able to put him down. We walked over the hill and he was piled up in that brush. And so I uh, can't thank Toby enough for going on, going with me and going up there and videoing. It, we were sucking wind going up that mountain, but it made it all worth it when we got up there. 
Um, so thanks a lot for watching. So today we are going to give away a pair of Vortex Diamondback 10x42 binoculars. So for today's giveaway, you can leave a comment down below. But that's not necessary, but we like reading your comments. But so what you have to do is you go to go to Instagram and tag three buddies on the post we just posted about day three. So tag three buddies in there, and then if you guys want to share it, um, be sure you can share it to your stories. But you got to tag three buddies. We're gonna go through on the people that tag three buddies on that on our post. And I'll put on there the, the uh, over like overlay a picture of the Diamondback binocular so you guys know which post it is. So tag three buddies and that's it. You're entered to win the Vortex 10 by 42 Diamondback binoculars. I've used Do Vortex since 2009, and uh, they've been an incredible company to work with, and uh, they make some awesome products. So go be sure to go check those guys out. Thanks so much for watching day three. Day four gets just as exciting. So you guys are going to definitely want to tune back in. Subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Help us out. Tell some of your friends about it. Um, the Icon Tour has been an amazing experience. We want everyone to see it as, po as much as possible. So be sure to tell one of your buddies about it. Tag those three friends on Instagram so you can get entered to win the binoculars. And uh, we'll check back in with you guys tomorrow.